Hi there! In this video, I will be taking you through the step-by-step -step process of installing an LED strip on this bookshelf to turn it into something like this. So this is the package. I got this from Lazada. It's an LED strip that's 5 meters long and it doesn't come with a plug so I will be using the standard plug from Apple used for the phones. It's rated at 5 volts 1 amp here. Order and so let's try it. Okay. As you can see that's just what I did. Yes, it works! Yay! Okay, good. I'm gonna install it in a while. Okay, so this is the project. It's a shelf. An IKEA shelf. Step one, I think, is the easiest step. You just have to clear the shelf, get rid of everything that's there. So, of course, I found a lot of things that are not books, toys, and whatnot. Step two is to remove the shelves and my main purpose for doing this was so I could just stick the LED strip all the way around it without having to slide it in between the shelf and the bookcase. If you're familiar with this bookshelf from IKEA, you would know that this one in the middle doesn't easily come off because it works as a stiffener or adds to the support or frame of the entire thing. Take note that I'm only doing this step because I needed to get that lamp out of there. This is where I'll be sticking the LED strip because this has the support for the shelves. Step number three is to clean the surface so that the LED strip will stick better. So in this part, I am just unspooling the thing so I could see what the end looks like. The dulu looks like this. So that's what it looks like. And you can actually cut this to the length that you need. And here I am guesstimating if I purchased the right length. Step four is the fun part, and it's where you will stick the LED strip to your bookcase. In my case, since I did not measure it and just made a rough estimate. I decided to start by sticking the portion closest to the power outlet or the plug so I could just cut it wherever. So I, I knew that it was long enough to be able to stick some of it at the bottom and provide some light there. but. This portion here that's closest to me, I ended up peeling it because apparently the strip wasn't long enough for that portion right there. So, yeah, that's me removing it and just going right up to the top of the shelf. To 
be honest, after I worked on this project, I began thinking of where else I could use the LED strip because it was just so easy to do and it made a really big difference. Step five is just to put the shelves back. I want you to take a close look at this. <laughs> See what happened there? I didn't know what I did. I thought it was because I pressed on the strip too hard, but I turned right back on. You can see here that it happened again and then I learned that the plug was getting way too hot so I just switched it to an old IKEA plug I had lying around so it worked then the next step is to give the shelves a good wipe down just to get rid of any dirt before you put all the things back And this is the last step. You just have to put the things back. I wonder how you guys organize your books. I've seen some people do it according to height and some according to color. I'm more of the according to height kind of girl. And in this case, it's just the board books for the younger kid at the bottom and then the older kids books go on the next shelves. And that's pretty much it. So this is the final outcome. I really like how this turned out and I hope to do more projects with you soon. If you found this video helpful or you found value in it in some way, I appreciate a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. Okay.